with others. We shouldn't stand as a hindrance. We shouldn't just prophesy that we are Christian, we are believers, and then we, 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 uh, and then we, we begin to do the contrary. Then our character is like, whoa. One of my friends told me a story about one woman, a very a strong woman of God, I may, I may say so. If you look at her, you say heaven comes down, holier than thou. So it happens that there was an occasion in that church. And a neighbor was invited for that occasion. And the neighbor came into that church for the occasion and found that woman actively working in the house of God. And when the neighbor went out, she was like, oh my God, I regretted coming here. Who, who brought me here? So is this where this woman fellowship? I really pity the pastor of this church. Because if you know what this woman does at home, if you know this woman's lifestyle, if you know what she does to her mother-in-law and her husband, you will not even know that she's a Christian. What are your works? What are your works? The Bible says, I know your works. In the book of Revelation, it says, I know your works. And we shouldn't, we, we shouldn't forget to know that the Bible says that God is not mock. For whatever a man soweth, so shall he reap. If you sow unto death, you will receive death. If you sow unto life, you will receive life. Whatever you are doing in the house of God, out of the house of God, in your life, in your closet, we not believe that, especially in their closet, in their hiding, not in the house of God. The Bible says, by their food, we shall know them. The book of Galatians chapter, um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse um, 8 to 10. Can somebody read it for us? Very fast, please. Ephesians 2, verse 8 to 10. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, of the good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. That is the sole purpose for which we are created. From the beginning of time, God created us for good works. Amen. Have it been God created you and I just to make heaven? We will have long gone into glory. Immediately we were saved. God will have taken us up into glory. But because he kept us up till this day, it means he has a purpose for you and I. And the purpose is for good works. Hallelujah. We have to do the work. We cannot dodge away from it. We have to do the work. And we will be as barren. As a barren tree that the Bible that Jesus make an allusion of in the Bible, and that will be of no use. Amen. Amen. We have to do good work. We were created in, uh, in Christ to do good works. We are a tool in God's hands. Jesus cannot come down in physical and being to to begin to give water, to begin to take care of the needy and stuff like. You cannot do that. It is only you and I who are the nature of Christ in us. Who are the image of God? We have to portray to the world. We have to take care of people around us. We have to do the work that Christ called us to do. Amen. Amen. Yeah, like I said, some of our good works do not measure up at all with the standard of God's um, meaning of good works. We have to watch ourselves. We have to really, when we go back home, we have to really meditate and ask ourselves and evaluate ourselves and ask ourselves, why do I do what I do? Am I doing it for self? Am I doing it for, for, for daddy to see me and then give me a position in church or to thank me? Am I doing it for to... To, to, to make friends. Am I, what, 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 why do you do what you do? Children of God. That should be the, the, the core Hallelujah. of the matter. Why do you do what you do? When I went and I was trying to research on this um, topic of good works, I came to the different crowns in the Bible that are as a reward of good works. I was like, I began to look at the life of daddy. There were times he does some things as a foolish man. Very foolish. You will find him in Costco pushing and um, pushing drinks in tax. Just to come and give you and I to drink. While we are seated here. But he does that joyfully. 
at time at times when I was very down, Daddy will call me right for, for, for at my job site and he'll be like, Sister Justin, Daddy, have you eaten? What did you eat today? And it's just to stir me up and stuff like that and pray for me. He does all those things. I came to realize that he's piling up his crown, the crown of glory. We have to fight for our crowns. Just being saved is not enough. We have to we have to fight for our crowns. Otherwise, I say we will go to heaven as wretched as any other thing we can think of. Amen. Yeah, like I, I said, I said grace and works, good works and Christ. There are three, three, three like and um, triplets. You cannot separate them. Why do we do good works? We do good works as a response to grace. As a response to the grace of God upon our lives. We are just beating past COVID-19. Thanks to God. And we are shining. We are all strong. And just going about our business is all to the grace of God. And what can we, children of God, really do to say thank you, Father? Because we are not stronger than those that have died. We are not better in any way than those that have gone. But because of his grace, he has spared our lives. He has made it possible for you and I to be here this morning. We are not better than those that are roaming the street. We are not. We are not better than those that are dying every day and going to hell. So, children of God, what is your own response to that grace? Will you just continue to do anyhow because grace are bound? We have to say thank you, Lord, for your grace to our lives. We have to say thank you. Yeah. And then um, good works is a trigger to grace. Yes. Good works is a response to grace. And in other words, it is, it is a trigger to grace. It triggers grace. Hallelujah. You're not doing good works because you want to, like, God should pay you. No. You're doing good works because you want to, trigger, you want to attract grace. Yeah, it triggers grace. Like daddy always tell the story of how his daddy was so good and stuff like that. He benefited of the good work of his father. We saw Tabitha in the Bible. It was not a, a prayer.